Hi, my name is Swaz from Origin and this is my basic champion guide to Lulu in the top lane. Uh, solo queue Lulu, she's pretty good with the with the tanks coming back on top. So she have really really good matchup into into Poppy, into Malphite, into Nautilus, all even Tamkench, all this kind of champion. Lulu she's pretty good against. She can get the turret of the enemy pretty easily. She's really hard to gank against tanks. If you're playing against Bruza, it's not the same. For example, a Fiora. She's still gonna be good against all the matchup on top, but you have to be really, really careful about like junglers or if your if enemy jungler have priority or things like this. But in most of the matchup, you're gonna be totally fine. You're gonna try to push your opponent. Uh, most of the time, it's not so easy to to get ganks going. So if you try to poke your enemy down and then try to call your jungle to get a dive or you're gonna have your TP priority because you're a really good lane bully. Try to get your item going, Road of Ages and Morello. And as soon as you have these two, you should be able to start grouping with your team. Hopefully your AD car is uh, good enough to uh, carry team fights and yeah, pray. For the laning phase of Lulu, if you're playing as a tank and you know that you have a good laning, is pretty much the same as like Nautilus or other heroes that can push other enemies. So yeah, try to get your slow push, get the free first melees. Try to slow push the wave as much as possible, stack it into enemy turrets. That is gonna depend if your jungle is playing for top slash mid side, then you can play at enemy turret and poke him down with your E, Q, autos and Thunderlord, you're gonna need a lot of damage. He's most likely gonna have to use like two pots if you wanna get a minimum of minions. If your uh, jungle is paid towards the bot side, then even though you stack the wave, try to poke him a bit, but not too much. Like you can poke him when the wave is still alive, then when the wave is like pretty much gone, just like try to back, try to just stack waves permanently into enemy top laner and try to get his turret. Then pretty much you have to focus a lot on farming and poking it at the same time and get your items going. It's really important to be equal or ahead with Lulu because if you're behind you're you're still gonna be useful but it's gonna depend a lot about like team comps basically. So with Lulu you wanna start team fighting uh, as soon as you have like over 250 AP, so something on that. When you have like two items plus boots, you can start team fighting. It's gonna depends about like your your team comp. Let's say if you have a Victor mid lane, uh, you can even speed your Victor. You don't necessarily have to speed the AD carry, but in 90% of the time, you're just gonna speed AD carry, shield him, and let him poke. You pretty much have to stand like pretty far back. It's kind you can kind of need to have the same position as like. If you're playing a Soraka really, stand far back, try to not get engaged on, but in the same time you have to be useful and like try to CC their, their front line or cancel animation, let's say uh, a Gragas body slam or Nautilus hook or like something, some like little stuff like this with your ultimate, so it's not like as just giving HP to your AD carry. You can also play differently and like speed whoever can engage, let's say you're playing a Gragas or something. Yeah, just speed your whoever can engage in your team and try to get a, a good engage on enemy team when they're not grouped. With, with Lulu, it's pretty much all about like positioning. It's kind of the key of the champion. You need to be uh, useful in terms of like dealing damage and in the same time useful as like not getting engaged in team fight and be re reliable in terms of like speeding and giving like kind of pressure to your AD carry so they cannot go on him that easily. For the runes, I go for HP level seals, attack speed marks, CDR level blues and AP queens. I don't, I think you can change the blues if you want to and if, if you're not, if you have a really good lane for example, you can go maybe flat uh, AP and not go for too much CDR, which is also fine if you want to win really hard your lane but most likely, in any other case, you'll go for this rune page. Some people like to go for magic pen reds, but I prefer a lot more attack speed since you can get a lot more autos against, especially against melee champions. Against some range, you'll maybe go for the magic pen, but then they can maybe outpush you if you play against like a queen or grave, something like this.
For the masteries of Lulu, I go 0, 18, 12. Uh, the 18 in Kuning is pretty normal. 12 in Resolve, I just like it on top lane to match enemies top lane or TP. Because if you both TP at the same time to go back to lane, which most of the top laners do, it's gonna have a TP advantage. And if you, let's say you TP to lane at like level 5 or level 6 on like most likely level 5. Enemy top laner is gonna have like an edge in terms of making a play on bot lane, so if you have his TP faster, you're most likely gonna lose a turret or something like this. So it's pretty good to go for the inside in uh, Resolve. So for skill order of Lulu, you start Q in most of the cases to try to get your slow push going from the first wave. Then you will take E for like your burst and turn the Lord proc, so you can E auto Q proc turn the Lord and have a lot of damage going. You will take W if you think that you'll get gank or your jungle is not on top, otherwise you can just take Q again, then take your W level 4. You max Q over W over E. For Lulu optimization, in any of the case, you'll start Doran's ring with two pots. First base, if you have a good lane and you're not gonna get like hot scale or have like so much problems, for example, if you're not playing, if you're playing against a Fiora, you'll maybe not do it, but if you're playing against a tank, you can go for the Dark Seal with the base and get like boots plus ward, for example. Yeah, depending on your goal, you're either gonna go for Catalyst into Rod early or get the Dark Seal. Second item, you'll go for Morello to get uh, the CDR going with the, the boots uh, of Lucidity meanwhile. Third item, it kind of depends of people overall, but most of the people tend to go for Ludens. Uh, it's pretty cost efficient and help you with the movement speed quite a bit. If you're pretty fed, you can also straight go for Rabadon, it's also good. I wouldn't really recommend Leech Bane for top because you're never gonna be able to autos in team fight. So Ludens, if you wanna get the movement speed, if you're really fed, go for Rabadon. And then the opposite, if you go Rabadon, get, go Ludens after. Uh, don't go for voice stuff because you're most likely an unity top laner, so you're rarely gonna eat people with your spells or just like try to slow them or something like this, but it's not really to eat them, it's just to annoy them, kind of. Thanks for watching this basic champion guide. Make sure to check out the rest of the guides over at lolcast.com.